You are listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZWLP Conroe and 106.1 KZCCLP Conroe and worldwide on IRLoneStar.com. Hello and good afternoon. It is 12 noon. I'm your host, Margie Taylor, for Conroe Culture News, Lone Star Community Radio in downtown Conroe, FM 104.5, 106.1. And we're going to have a great show today. I have three guests. I have uh, Teach, Transforming Education and Changing History with Sandy Maurer. Then we're going to hear from Tommy Taylor of the Givers Republic and an event that they have this coming Saturday. And then wrapping it up will be Dwayne Ham of our Conroe City Council. Council. So this show is sponsored by Kristen Bays for the 284th Court of Montgomery County. So some things that are going on. Um, the city of Conroe hosts a lot of different events with their parks and recreation. And what's on the calendar for this week is a leadership adventure program. And that is both Saturday and Sunday. And you can still connect with Daytrin Rogers to get involved with that. And that's for teens that are in seventh and eighth grade. And they meet one Saturday each month and learn about outdoor skills. They do cooking, camping, fishing, canoeing, orienteering, orient, how do you say that, orienteering, and a lot more things. It's a great way for kids to get involved, and that will take place at uh, Huntsville State Park. So you can call 936-522-3960 or go to the City of org website to find out more about the Leadership Adventure Program. Also this Saturday is Safe Sitter Babysitting Classes. So uh, any youth that are age 11 and older that want to start babysitting, this is a great program to get certified. Helps you get more jobs, too, when you say that you've been babysitter certified. So that is this Saturday from 9 to 5. The cost is $25 from the City of Conroe, and registration runs through today. You can still register. But the really fun and exciting thing is something that I mentioned last week is the Daddy-Daughter Dance. And that is happening February 3rd, and it will sell out. So, dads, this is a great time that you can take not just one daughter, but however many daughters you have to this dinner, dancing, and uh, it's just a lot of fun. It's over at La Toretta, Saturday, February 3rd, and it is $65 per couple and then $20 for each additional child. But... What a great way to have some memories as the daddy-daughter dance. So tonight, Fred McIntosh will be with Charles Peters at the Red Brick Tavern at 7.30. Open mic at the Corner Pub with Caleb. And uh, there's a bunch of different things going on this week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and of course on Sunday. So Thursday, I've just been given information that the Conroe Exchange Club, which is a civic organization that just started here back in the fall, I believe, they are um, having a forum, a panel discussion on the growth in Conroe. And that is this Thursday from 3 to 4 at the Conroe Chamber. They are going to have Danielle Schreiner, who is the interim director at the Conroe Economic Development Council, Shannon Overby, who's the director of the Conroe Convention and Visitors Bureau, and Craig Doyle, our county judge, will be there with a wrap-up by the Exchange Club. So that is this Thursday, 3 3 to 4, and it's free. So something else you can do when you're done with that is you can head over to the Red Brick Tavern and hear Buck Yeager. Caleb and the Green Tomatoes will be at the Pacific Yard House and McFarland Jams will, with Adam McFarland will be at the Corner Pub. Of course, Taste of the Town at the Waterway Marriott is this Thursday, and there will be two local restaurants there. It will be Red Brick Tavern and Pacific Yard House, among 50-plus additional restaurants there. So that's a really fun time. You can eat, have an Epicurean delight. It's kind of like food porn. I mean, it's fabulous. You can have anything from desserts and pastries to entrees to sampling beer to you just can't get enough. If you imagine over 50 different restaurants that are participating in this, and this is at the Waterway Marriott. This is open to the public. It's put on by the Woodlands Chamber. But what a great event. So that's Thursday. Friday, January 19th, you can hear Deanna Wendelin at the Red Brick Tavern. Tommy Bikithin and the New Offenders will be at Pacific Yard House. And Doc Mojo will be at the Corner Pub. 
wrapping it up on Saturday, you have Jason Michael at the Red Brick Tavern, the Mighty Orc at the Corner Pub, Brian Pounds at Pacific Yard House, and there's a guitar circle at 6 p.m. at Conroe Coffee right next to us. That is a great event because you can see artwork. I can see it right now looking in through the window here. She's got artwork displayed and with acoustic guitars, and it's very family-oriented. Come in there, and, of course, we never really know what the weather is like, but it should be closer up to 70 again by Saturday. So come enjoy an evening out and um, listen to some good music. And then on Sunday morning, Gospel Sunday Brunch at the Red Brick Tavern with Matt Harlan. So those are some of the things that are going on. And as you know, we always have things going on in downtown Conroe. So take us a take a trip down here, down Main Street, and, and visit the uh, Owen Theater, the Crichton Theater. They don't have anything playing this weekend, but they will very soon. So my first guest today is Sandy Maurer with Teach. And TEACH is Transforming Education and Changing Lives. What does that mean, Sandy? Well, we are interested in transforming education. Edu educators today are already doing wonderful work, but students are going to go into a world that we don't even know what it is now. And so instead of dealing with content, we need to start dealing with how to think and be more globally aware. Um, uh, one of the quotes that I just love is from John Dewey, who said it a long time ago, if we teach today's students as we taught yesterday, we rob them of tomorrow. So we are constantly looking for new ideas and new ways to help students reach their goals and accomplish their dreams. So you're making things more realistic to them. Instead of just book learning, they're reaching out more? Correct, correct. And we have done this by um, having some goals in mind for our organization. One of them is to raise money for scholarships. And you were very nice to have us on the air last year, and we had a very successful scholarship dinner, um, at which time we had 12 school districts who, who worked with us. And we, um, at our conference last February, we were able to give 15 scholarships to students so that they would have an opportunity. That's even more important this year because many students were affected by Harvey. Mm -hmm. Very much, absolutely. Right. So tell me about your fundraising event. Okay, we have our fundraiser event um, this year, February the, tw uh, excuse me, January the 28th um, from 1.30 to 4.30 at Bareback Ice House, which is on Kirkendall. Um, last year we had a scholarship dinner, but this year because of Harvey, we've had to move that fundraiser to January because people were so busy getting their houses redone and schools redone. And so um, it's going to be a really fun day. We're going to have barbecue lunch. We're going to have silent auction items and some big items as well that you can bid on. We will have raffle tickets for a, um, uh, a tree that has cards on it. Um, and then we're going to play games. We'll have face painting. We'll have three-legged races. Um, the Pro Bowl is on. We will have a band. So it it is... You're going to have a band there? We are going to have a band, okay. and it will be free admission. We're hoping, of course, that you will donate to our scholarship funds while you're there. Um, but we also will raise money with the auctions, and every bit of the money that we raise at this event will go to scholarships for uh, high school seniors. And they will apply for those scholarships through their district. And districts will qualify for those scholarships by sending students to our conference. So I'd really like to talk about our conference as well. Tell me. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> Okay, our conference is February 24th at Klein Collins High School. Um, we have tons of great speakers. 
Um, it starts at 745 with registration and ends at 3 o'clock with our scholarship awards. Um, we, you can come to the conference by registering online at www.teachthenumber2change.org. Um, there's a registration page uh, click, uh, thing that you can click on uh, right on the front page. Um, an individual conference registration is $199. But we would also like to have students who are studying to be teachers. So we have a lot of community colleges who are teaching students to be teachers. And those students can come for $60. Um, and listen to a lot of great presenters. Um, and if those students come and check in at our volunteer table at the fundraiser, they can come to the conference for $30. So it's a wonderful opportunity for college students who are becoming teachers. So tell me, how did you get involved in this, Sandy? Well, I had an email from Teresa Dossman and Debbie Koch, who organized this, and said, you know, we're interested in finding people who are interested in education. And at that time, I was an advisor at Lone Star College. I had been a high school um, guidance counselor for a number of years, and I've also been a counselor at the middle school and I taught elementary school, so I've taken care of all levels. So they knew I was interested in education. And because I saw so many high school students coming in with not a clue of what needed to happen next, I decided that this was something I could get involved in. And I'm, I've now retired completely and am devoting my time to helping teach get started. Tell me a little bit more as far as tangible things. How is this changing the students? How are they, how are they looking at things differently? Okay, we're working on those goals as we speak. You know, we were a grassroots organization last year. Um, we ended up with two very successful events. Following those events, we got teachers together to work on what would make a student successful. And we have come up with some pillars that we think are important. This year after our conference, we're gonna flesh out those pillars. So the, designing the pillars was our first year's work, okay? And they are, and let me see if I can read this, they are um, lifelong learning, global success, um, cultural awareness, mentoring, um, and of course, education itself. And our, our ultimate goal, and we're not there yet, but this year we will be working on that, is to provide these things to schools in the area. We would like to come into their schools with our expertise and teach them that there are other ways or provide them with a service that they can utilize with their kids. Um, we have a lot of qualified people that are working with us. Um, let me just tell you about a couple of them. Um, we have Lynn Dozier, who was an AP teacher at Klein Forest High School won a ton of awards for her magazine contribution. Last year, she gave a lecture on reading to write and writing to read. And this year, she is going to be working with art as literature at our conference. So when someone comes to our conference, they will have access to all the information presented there, whether they went to the session or not. So our goal is that we want to help schools really um, have access to current information. And then once a teacher comes to our conference, they are also eligible for all of our Mining of the Mind sessions. 
And those sessions are small group sessions where we're going to flesh out these things that we think lead to success in education. So you're still pretty grassroots. It sounds like you're establishing your goals and then bringing people in, and then you will continue to uh, streamline what those look like and how you go forward with carrying out those goals to, to be successful. Absolutely. And really what we need is help for from communities such as Conroe and the surrounding districts. Um, we would love to have them send um, their teachers to our conference and come to our fundraiser so that we can give scholarships um, to each of those schools. In order to qualify for our scholarships this year, um, the schools in the area need to send 10 teachers. 10 teachers qualify them for one scholarship. So every 10 teachers gives a scholarship. So if they send 20 teachers, then they will receive two scholarships. And we're hoping that our fundraiser will raise enough money that those scholarships will be great. I will give you um, an idea. Last year, and, and of course at this point we don't know what those scholarships will be, how much they will be. Sure. But last year, um, districts bought, and we had 12 districts, bought tables at our fundraising dinner for $500. In return, they got $800 in a scholarship. So we're hoping that we can match that at least, but it depends on whether you send people to our fundraiser. So we'd really love that. Sure, sure. So it's undetermined based on how your event does and how it nets out. Absolutely. So your target audience is teachers. Yes, and... Um, teachers and administrators and counselors. We have an educational track, we have a leadership track, and we have an advisement track at our conference. So we would love to have even CNI directors, um, you know, administrators, principals, vice principals, associate principals, um, and teachers. And education students because we feel like we can provide mm -hmm. them some direction and goals. So by global learning, what is involved in that? Tell me about the why that's important. What are you what is the premise of that? Okay. Well, I I think today you cannot have a business that doesn't reach <laughs> a go, a global market. And I think a lot of kids don't yet have that awareness of our global economy. So as we flesh out that um, pillar, we will be having ways, and one of the ways is really to get kids to be aware of other 5013Cs that help other countries, African countries, emerging market countries, um, things that kids maybe today who are involved in their own world. And, and our conference is called um, From Silos to Global Solutions. So silos being small, um, small and global solutions being large. The and big I, picture. Right. And we need <laughs> right. to get kids thinking about the big picture. Right. So not, okay. just, not just little things at home, mm -hmm. but expanding so again that website is teach to change.org that's teach number two change.org to find out all the information about your conference about your fundraising event do y'all have a facebook page we do have a facebook page and we have an email address also which is teach at teach to change.org and our facebook page is and I'm not remembering it, uh, Teach Change. That is it. Teach Change, mm -hmm. yes. So we'd love for you to like us on our Facebook page, to follow us, to send teachers and send college students majoring in education. That would help us tremendously to reach our goals. 
So the biggest goal is to transform the culture of education. Correct. So that all students can identify and nurture their natural talents and graduate equipped with the skills necessary to contribute in a global society. That's pretty hefty. <laughs> it is pretty hefty, and, and we're really excited about it. There's a lot going on with this organization, and we'd love for people to join our organization. We'd really also like for people to work with us. We're expanding, and so we'd love to have a contact teacher from each district that sends people to our campus so that we can funnel them information. All right. So what uh, school districts are you working with in um, Montgomery County? Well, Willis has been one of our big supporters. Okay. Um, we gave them a scholarship last year, and they've been really great about sending people to our events and coming to our fundraisers. Um, but we would love to have Conroe. Um, so you don't have Conroe yet. Uh, we have Montgomery, mm -hmm. but we've not made a lot of inroads in Conroe, and we would love to do that. I can put you in touch with someone. <laughs> okay, that would be awesome. I would love for you to okay, do that. Okay, sure, absolutely. Anything else you want to add today? Well, just that we need your help. I mean, as we grow, we need districts to support us. And in turn, we would like to support the district as well. We would like to give them scholarships if they'll send 10 teachers to us. And we would like to provide them education. So... Um, our goal is mm -hmm. to get lots of involvement. It's all about continuing the education. Absolutely. And kids deserve that. Kids deserve to know what's out there, how they get what's it. What's changed. What's changed. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're very, very excited about what we do. Okay. So that date again is January 28th from 1.30 to 4.30 at the Bareback Ice House on Kirkendall. And it's absolutely free to be involved, have some food, uh, get, you know, do live silent auction. Of course, they would like you to make a donation if you could, because it's all for the students. So, again, that is Teach Transforming Education and Changing History. Thank you, Sandy, for coming on the show today. And we will have a link and a podcast to this show by tomorrow that I will share and follow them to see more information. I am Margie Taylor, your host for the, show, for the show, and this is sponsored by Kristen Bays, the 284th Port of Montgomery County. I'm Kristen Bays, and I'm running for judge of the 284th Civil District Court. Ronald Reagan once said, as government expands, liberty contracts. He's right but there are leaders in this country who seem to have forgotten it. I'm running for judge to stop this government expansion, to restore your confidence in your elected officials. I'm inspired, involved, and invested in this community, and I know you are too. Together, we can make a difference. Please vote for Kristen Bays in the Republican primary on March 6th. Political advertising paid for by Kristen Bays and in voluntary compliance with the Judicial Campaign Fairness Act. Hey guys, this is Connor. This is Dick. This is Chris. And we're with the Ticket Stub Podcast every Thursday live at noon on 104.5 and 106.1 FM in the Conroe area. Also, anytime at IRLoneStar.com. You go to IRLoneStar.com backslash TTS. You can find all of our social media. And don't forget, we give away two tickets to the Grand Theater on every show. If you like movies and you like complaining or celebrating, anything that has to do with the silver screen, check out the Ticket Stub Podcast and join us every Thursday at noon o'clock on Lone Star Community Radio. And we're back. Conroe Culture News. I'm your host, Margie Taylor, FM 104.5, 106.1, out of downtown Conroe, Lone Star Community Radio, every Monday at noon. Although, that's half truth. We did not do a show on Christmas Day or New Year's Day, but we're here on Martin Luther King Day. So, my next guest today is Tommy Taylor, uh, Givers Republic, and he has an event coming up, and he's going to tell us all about the Givers Republic. Welcome, Tommy. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay, so what is Givers Republic? So the Givers Republic is a networking group, but more of a community where we really help people 
grow their businesses. So we connect them business to business, and we really focus on that intimate aspect of the relationship. So developing that relationship to a point where it's your friends and, and you're really trying to help each other grow as a community. And a How business. many people so, are involved in uh, this organization? Uh, right now we have about 25, 30 members or so. And how often do you meet? Uh, we meet twice a week. Twice uh, a week. That's yes. a lot. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we, so we meet we meet twice, twice a week, uh, different members, different group, uh, different meetings, right? But we have a, we have a Tuesday morning one. We're actually going to be – that one's in the middle of a location change right now, but it was at the Work Lodge. Uh, we're at the Love Madeline uh, off of uh, Market Street right there mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And then the one in the evenings is more of a happy hour, and that one is at uh, Goose's Acre. We usually have about mm, – between 15 and 30 people show up to that one, and then in the morning, usually about 20 people. So is this a paid membership thing? Uh, not right now, it is not. No, okay. it will be eventually. Uh, after we're running a promotion right now where the first 50 members are free for life, and then after that, we'll start charging for memberships. So is it specific by your occupation so that you only have one? Uh, no, it's not. It's PR not your... person, let's say. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> No, it's not cheer specific uh, just because so many people, like say, for instance, if you have, like for example, we have two, uh, two guys that are home inspection guys. And uh, while some people may work well with one of them, they may not work well with the other one. Absolutely. And so, you know, we don't like to limit it, but at the same time, we don't want to add like 30 realtors in one room because that could be very easy to do, sure. <laughs> especially in this area. So but, it's uh, relationship building to grow your business, which yeah. I truly believe in. That's really what, what you do is you refer people you know. Exactly, yes. Yeah, you know, you always want to refer people that you know, like, and trust. And we're really uh, networking to a lot of people. Either they have a bad taste in their mouth about it, or it's developed this cold personality where it's just like, give me your business, here's your business card, and I need money. That's now, not right? relationship building. No, just no. Just handing out your business card. No, and, and we really like to just, we're trying to bring back that aspect of it and really show people that we care. You know, our values are God first, family second, career third, and networking fourth. And so, so when did you start this? Uh, me and my wife actually started it. Uh, her name's Desnica, and we started this about five months ago or so. Mm -hmm. um, our goal this year really is to grow to 300 members and then open 11 new locations. We're actually fixing to open up uh, two more locations. That's going to be in Huntsville, and we're going to be partnering with the uh, college up there for their entrepreneurial program to educate and give the college kids real-world experience in networking and businesses. And then we're actually going to be operating one out of the Heights as well, uh, lady named Tracy Fowler uh, that's going to be operating that one down there. Very nice. Very nice. So I've been seeing a lot of it on social media. So it kind of got my attention before you even uh, – I, I don't know if you reached out to me or I reached out to you. I can't remember. But I, You know, it's, I think it's meant to it's be, It's mutual. Right? Yeah, it's meant to be. So you have an event yeah. coming up uh, this Saturday, Wine and Fire in the Country. Yes, yes. Uh, it's going to be an amazing event. So we're having uh, we're having Nashville artist Carrie Marie performing, and we're also having uh, which she is amazing. She can she can shut down the crowd, right? Like she's amazing. Uh, and then you have uh, the Texas Blues Brothers playing, and then we're possibly going to have a third band playing first, uh, coming in there. They're a Christian band and everything, uh, just to kind of fill up that four thirty to six spot. Then the Blues Brothers six to eight, and then Carrie Marie's playing last. I saw that. So you have a lineup of some live music. And fire pits and food and food trucks. What food trucks do you have out there? Uh, there's, I believe, that one of them is called Taco Del Mar. Don't, I'm not, I may be pronouncing that wrong. Uh, but this place is, uh, they have really good food, uh, really professional. Street people. tacos? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and, uh, street tacos are good. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves tacos. Yeah. And, uh, and then we're going to have uh, the King and I, which is actually going to have, they're going to have some tents out there and they're going to have like a bunch of good food, like carnival food. So, uh, Fried Twinkies, Oreos, uh, all the <laughs> all the good stuff. Well, right? he usually has uh, like sausages and hamburgers yeah. and things like that too, because he comes oh, yes. to the farmers market I run. Yes, yes, he uh, he has like a lot of the like uh, other foods as well, as far as like steaks and sausage and stuff like sure, that as well. Sure, sure. Okay, so uh, regardless of the weather, that will not hinder you. No, right? uh, it's supposed to actually be nice. That's uh, what I thought. Yeah, we're supposed to. So it went from. It's funny because we it went from. Uh, about sixty percent chance of rain, like two weeks ago, and then now it's pretty. They much, don't know anything. Yeah, yeah. Now it's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty much nothing. Where it's going to be like this all day for the most part. Uh, a little bit more cloudy, but that's okay. It actually works out better for filming aspect of things. A little bit overcast, and then we're going to have uh, 
about, you know, a small chance of rain, but after midnight. But other than that, it's supposed to be perfect. And this is out in uh, Plannersville. Yes. Uh, Tell right me about out, the property. Yes, so it's at a place called A Place of Grace, and uh, there are a vent event uh, a play, sorry a vent facility out there in Plannersville mm-hmm. that my uh, actually my parents own uh Ron and Diane Taylor and uh, they operate like weddings and um anything from quinceañeras and corporate events and whatever out there that uh it's a really affordable place and nice nice quiet place in the country so it's a way to get them a little bit more uh acknowledgement and branding of the venue that they offer for all kinds of events Yes. Uh, yeah. We so what we did was we partnered with uh, with with them in their event center, and we're going to bring them exposure out there for their event center and really highlight who they are as a company and help them grow. Great. That's great cross merchandising. So, how many people do you expect to be there? Uh, right now, we're estimating about three hundred people. Uh, our goal is four hundred people, and we're hoping to cap it off at that. But you never know. Uh, how many more people are going to show up than right. that? No, so you, we, don't, you don't really know. And what is the fee? The fee is only about 30 bucks, but uh, you get uh, a limited beer and wine. And it's not the cheap beer. <laughs> it's not no bush beer or anything like that. It's actually uh, B-52 brewery beer. Uh, we're going to have a bunch of kegs and giving that out for free. We're going to have a bunch of wine, Texas wine, giving that out as well. Uh, and, but saying that, it is a Moderation. Kid, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it is a kid <laughs> friendly. At the same time, it is a kid friendly event. So we're going to have horse rides for the kids we're going to have a slushy machine although more of the adults are excited about that than the, than the kids the slushy machine but uh we're going to have that and we're going to have games like cornhole and stuff like that mm-hmm. and just a bunch mm-hmm. of fun stuff for a really good family event so how is this related to the givers republic tell me uh, the link in there i mean the givers republic is what is putting on the event so are you having people from uh, your networking come out there and help you put this on? Yes. Yeah, so we'll have, uh, right now, it's uh, me and my wife are the event coordinators for this. Um, but we will have members come out there that, that want to volunteer if they want to. But more, of, well, they're going to be out there as vendors. Uh, we'll also have people that aren't members as vendors. Um, and the, really the goal is just to draw in like a big crowd like the community. Um, generally, when you host networking events, um, you generally attract the same people that you see everywhere. And so what we're really trying to do is draw in a crowd, an audience for the, the businesses, local businesses, not just connect with other businesses, but actually connect to customer, possible customers as well. So yeah. not just businesses, but uh, to the public in general. Yeah. To get more visibility. So tell me about some of the vendors that are coming out there. Uh, there's quite a few. Uh, anybody from little small knickknacks. Uh, we got a guy that makes these little cool little things for like a dollar uh, out of, I don't even know what they're called. I like got a little metal pieces. And then um, they're really cool, though. And then there's other people that have, like, jewelry and whatnot. Um, and then you have people that have, like, they're selling insurance and whatnot. There's such a variety of, of businesses. How many vendors do you have, approximately? Uh, right now we have about 15 or so. Okay. Uh, our goal was 30, but uh, we're still taking on vendors. So where does somebody go? Do they go to your Facebook page, or where do they go to find out about being a vendor? So they would just uh, email me directly at the Givers Republic, or sorry, uh, the Givers Republic at gmail.com. and they could, uh, or they can uh, message me directly at eight three two two three three seven zero one seven. Okay. And we're actually we're actually really charging a very affordable rate. We're only charging like fifty bucks for a ten by ten spot. Um, the only requirements to be a vendor are that then you have uh, then you have you know just sharing like the event on Facebook, invite about fifty to hundred friends. And then, as well as uh, just uh, show up at two thirty to set up and everything, because the event starts at four thirty. Okay. Have you done other events in the past? Yes. Uh, the one previous to this was at Woodson's, and that was uh, called a Givers Halloween, and we highlighted a, uh, a breast cancer research for that one because it was it was close to that aspect of things, mm-hmm. and uh, and we had a lady, Doctor Lucinda West, come out and she spoke on like her experience through stage four breast cancer and everything like that. And we just highlighted that aspect of things and took donations for books and stuff. And then previous to that, we hosted an event at uh, Papas on the Lake called Givers on the Lake. And we had an I art- saw that. Yeah. And we had a guy named Trevor Lee come out and we did a whole commercial with Texas Marine, their boats. Uh, it was, it was a great event for that. So tell me about this venue in Plannersville. Anything so, else? Yeah. yeah, so it's, you know, it's 8.7 uh, acres, and uh, it's going to be, you know, it's really quiet in the country, and we're going to have fire pits, we're going to have a stage and lights, 
uh, actually a pretty big stage, 16 by 24 stage with uh, with different uh, lighting and stuff. We're going to have fireworks going off between artists. And uh, again, we're going to have fire pits fireworks? to keep you warm. Yep, fireworks. You say fireworks? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Fireworks. <laughs> not, not a ton of them, you know, like 4th of July. But we're going to have stuff going off between the artists and stuff just to add that extra flair to it. Um, we're going to have uh, different vendors as well as, and then food, food as well available, and then the beer and the wine in two different bars, um, and again, the games and stuff, and it's going to be, it's going to be a fun event. So you do have a website, thegiversrepublic.com, and that's yes. where they can find your contact information as well. Yes, uh, you can, yeah, you can find us, there's a contact page on there at thegiversrepublic.com, and just, uh, go all the way to your left on the website, and it'll have, uh, They'll find it. yeah, it'll have that contact <laughs> page on there, yeah. And then you have your Facebook page. Do you have one for the Givers Republic, or is it just a place of grace, nope. Texas? Nope, we have one for the Givers Republic, but they also have a Facebook page as well. Okay. Anything else you want to add? When are you meeting again, your networking group? Is that uh, on Thursday? Yeah, we're actually going to be meeting Tuesday, this Tuesday at La Madeline off of Market oh, Street. Oh, that's the morning one, yep. right? And that one's more a little bit more formal and quieter. And uh, you know, we try to cater to two different crowds. So, you know, we have one in the morning. Uh, that's what time do they meet? Uh, 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. to 9:30 in the morning, and uh, that's just at La Madeline off uh -huh. Market Street, and uh, you know that's that's a more quieter when you give commercials and everything like that. And then the evening ones at Goose's Acre on Thursdays, that's more of a happy hour, but um, it, it caters to two different coffee crowds. versus beer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but they have <laughs> yeah. great every Thursday. They have great happy hours, uh, and like I think we bought like uh, beer, two beers. An appetizer for only like 10 or 12 bucks. Oh, that's reasonable. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It was pretty good. Okay. Well, we'll be right back in a few minutes. I'm Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News. And this is sponsored by Kristen Bays for the 284th Court of Montgomery County. I was just speaking with Tommy, Ta Tommy Taylor, Givers Republic. Their event is this Saturday. Yes, ma'am. Giversrepublic.com. We'll be right back. I'm Kristen Bays, and I'm running for judge of the 284th Civil District Court. Ronald Reagan once said, as government expands, liberty contracts. He's right, but there are leaders in this country who seem to have forgotten it. I'm running for judge to stop this government expansion, to restore your confidence in your elected officials. I'm inspired, involved, and invested in this community, and I know you are too. Together, we can make a difference. Please vote for Kristen Bays in the Republican primary on March 6th. Political advertising paid for by Kristen Bays and in voluntary compliance with the Judicial Campaign Fairness Act. Listen in Mondays at noon to hear Conroe news from local nonprofits, businesses, upcoming events, Conroe Park events, news stories, and information that matters to you with your host, Margie Taylor of Taylorized PR. For more information about being a guest, visit IRLoneStar.com slash Conroe Culture. And we're back. I'm Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News, downtown Conroe, Lone Star Community Radio. So we are going to have um, a little bit more conversation with Tommy Taylor, a Givers Republican, his event this Saturday. Because unfortunately, um, my guest, Dwayne Ham, City Conroe Councilman, is taking care of a broken water line. So we need to, he needs to take care of that. But he will be here next Monday talking about the... Um, prospect of a new event center community venue project new businesses and possibly the contract with city of huntsville to partner with the animal shelter uh information about our lone star groundwater conservation and sjra and uh we might even talk to him about the music festival that took place here last may and and what her, his thoughts are about bringing it back here again so until then that will be next week um and we will also have uh, Tammy McRae, our Montgomery County Tax Assessor, and Rita Wilts telling us about how we can get free assistance for our taxes. So that's a little teaser. But I am still sitting here with Tommy Taylor of Givers Republic. <coughs> Tommy, why should, what is different about your event this Saturday? Why should people come out there? You know, it's just going to be a really good family event that's going to be something for the community to come together and really grow and just help you know, help local businesses grow as far as uh, the economy goes in the local area. And I really feel that Meet new help. people. Yeah, and, you fun. know, meet, meet new people and just have a good time, really. Uh, you know, we, 
for us, this is really just about helping uh, helping people and showing the value that we want to add to them in general. Uh, you know, that's what we're all about is adding value to others, no matter what outlet that is. So, Well, I really like that you have faith first. Yes, yes. We try and stress that aspect. And, and you know, we... I've told I tell people this all the time. We do have a lot of cool tools on our website, membership directory and stuff like that, um, that people can use. Uh, but at the the reason people join us is because uh, number one the, of our values, and number two, they see we actually care. And uh, not saying other groups don't, but they see that we care and we go the extra mile and really help them to really help them grow their business. Uh, for example, you know when when we invite someone out, we don't just invite them out to an event and they show up and they hope they meet somebody, right, that they, they can work with. We ask them, hey, who can we invite out? Who would you be looking for to network with? And who can we invite for you to grow? That way, you know, it's at least going to be beneficial for them to show up. And uh, and then they can also have a good time as well. So. You're connecting people to help them uh, enrich their lives, help their businesses, all of that. Exactly, yes. <laughs> so how is it different than, say, a chamber? Or do you think they're both valuable but for different reasons? I think they're both valuable. You know, the chamber has, um, you know, we actually met with the Magnolia Chamber over there recently. Um, I didn't even know they had an office. And we stopped, we're like, oh, the Chamber of Commerce. We stopped by and uh, they were really helpful. Uh, They actually offered to promote our event on their website and everything. And they're just really, um, really, we we try to connect to groups that, that are, that are the same like-minded, you know, what, what can we do? What can we do for you? How can we help you? Yeah. How can we help you grow? How can we help you? Versus what can you do for us? Absolutely. If that makes sense. So, and you're going to also have space heaters out there, too. Uh, or what well, do you call them? They're changed. not space heaters. <laughs> it what? changed from space heaters to fire pits. Um, okay. okay. We were going we were, we were to have, I don't even know what you call them, to be honest with you. They were going to be those giant lamp heaters that you see on yeah. the back porches and right. stuff. And, uh, and we changed that to fire pits. So, we're going to have uh, five fire pits out there going uh uh, one big one and then uh, some medium-sized ones out there for everybody to keep warm. That's nice and intimate. And to me, that just kind of makes it that whole cozy, get-to-know-the-person-standing-next-to-you kind of feeling. Yeah. You know? And, and, you know, whether you drink or not, there's going to be water and, you know, stuff like that, too, there. But people tend to uh, open up <laughs> when they drink. Uh, not, in a, not that you're trying to take advantage of anything, but it's just, you know, they tend to open up and they tend to be more themselves when they have just kind of relax a little bit and uh, you get to know them better as a person. So we, we you, try and encourage people to get to know each other. Absolutely. You need to connect with the gentleman who does the limousine service yes. out of Montgomery. Yes. I actually met him. Uh, I'm terrible at names, but I met him the other day at the chamber of commerce. Uh, you need to have very, him come. Yeah. Uh, that would be a, that would be a really good opportunity for him well yeah then if they tend to indulge then they can be smart about it and be responsible right just exactly saying. yeah just i'll have to connect you with him okay well that's all of our show for today so again the show is sponsored by Kristen base for the 284th court of montgomery county i'm your host margie taylor and we will have a podcast of this show available uh sometime tomorrow and it will be put on taylorized pr and conroe culture news And then, of course, my guests will share it. So listen in and uh, tune in to us next week, Monday at 12 noon. Until then, be safe. Thank you for checking out this production of Lone Star Community Radio. Lone Star Community Radio is Montgomery County's community radio station. Don't forget to check out this show and many others across the Lone Star Community Radio Network. Either live on Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1, the Lone Star Internet Radio app, or IRLoneStar.com's live audio stream, and on replay on podcast, Channel 12's Our City TV in Conroe, or Channel 21 KVQT in Houston, and of course their YouTube channel. This production is copyrighted and all rights are reserved by Lone Star Community Radio. Have a question regarding this program or other Lone Star Community Radio shows? Want to sponsor or start your own show? Call the station message line at 936-647-3776 or email the station at lscrstudios at gmail.com.